Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you are doing great. In this video, I am going to show about a search options in RAP. So this is a continuation of the previous video, I can say, because the previous video is a F4 value help. And here there is a search option. So F4 value help is a uh, designated place where the user can enter the proper value of the field. For example, company code, I want to search it. I want to search based on the plant. I want to search based on the storage location. We have an independent search field for the user to search the relevant information, right? But search is kind of a wide open search. There is only one input box, but it can be uh, applicable to search multiple fields. I want to search a company code. Yes, the same single search option will help for you. And if you, I want to search a plant, I want to search a storage location, everything in one single field can able to help it. So this can be achieved through uh, annotations for each field. Okay, so that's what we are going to see. It's a very simple one. Now let's get into the slides first. So here, uh, the search option, the input boxes look like this. So this is the company code purchase document category. This is with the help of F4 value help is got generated. And the search is for only one input field. This can be used for multiple fields as well. Um, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so how we can able to do what? The first thing we need to enable or we need to generate this input pulse with the help of an annotation. So the annotation is going to be search.searchable true. This is the global level annotation we have to uh, create meaning. Uh, I have a CDS view entity. I want to have a particular field is searchable. So before going to the field level, you have to make your CDS entity itself available for the search. So this is going to be in your global level. Before define entity or de define view entity, you have to use this uh, annotation maybe in the header level. Before that, you have to use it. So the second step is field level. Or in the CDS is enabled for search. In CDS, I have multiple fields, but I want to enable only for few fields to be searchable. Okay. So for that, the annotation is search default search element true. So this is going to be in the field level of your CDS view. Okay. Next one is, so this if you enable by default, if you enable searchable true, search element true, this is applicable only for the full value search. If it is a plant, you have to enter all the four digit, then only it will start searching it, 4000. And if it is a company code, all the full. If it is a text, you have to enter all the entire uh, uh, text material text or whatever text it is you have to enter then only the search will perform okay this is a default level but always the search is going to be i don't want to because <clears throat> normally the business users might remember few lines or few uh, words of a material text right so they prefer to enter only a few values but they want to see what are the applicable uh, items search items to be part of your uh, CDS view entity, right? So for that, what you have to do was, I'm going to add one more annotation. For example, I want to enter only two digit for finding my company code, so 11, on our plant 11. I want to see what and all uh, plants start with 11, okay? So for that, we have to add a one more additional annotation in the field level uh, annotations, okay? So that is nothing but search fuzziness threshold. Okay, so the parameter for this annotation is 0 to 1. 0 is minimum, 1 is maximum. Okay, so what is the parameter of like uh, your search criteria? Okay, so if you want like uh, 7 or 70, just want to understand, okay, so 70% match to be added. So then you have to go with 0 0.07. So 50 50 is a 0 0.50. Depends on your need, you can always go with. So close to mostly we go with 0 0.07. Sorry, 0 0.7. So this will help the users with this, but only few digits automatically it will display whatever uh, values are applicable for that. Okay. And one more thing, uh, okay, that I will explain in, uh, in comes to the system level. So the next one is suppose uh, this could be added probably in the previous videos as well. Uh, 
suppose the user wants both for example few field has value and text so plan has a value and text company code has a value and text material has value and text okay so the user prefer i want both to be in after i search i want both to be added in the uh, search field so for that we have one more analysis for example company code they going to search by 001 and press 001 but that will pick your text as well as the value of the company code okay to achieve this you have one more uh, annotation called object model text element and you have to give the description field name what a field name it carries a description or text that needs to be added here okay so this is applicable for uh, like search or your value help as well this is one of the option where you can add in the description as well as the value okay um, yeah that's it about the search this is a very basic beginning of how to implement a search for a field or more than one field and maybe you can play around with this and probably we can come to anything else maybe we can add one more video as well okay let's get into the system so this is my system and this is my consumption view uh, it's a continuation from the uh, beginning of the videos the same example i'm using over here so first i'm going to uh, make my consumption view as a searchable then i'm going to add which elements ought to be searched using the same field so for that before the defined root i'm going to use search searchable is true okay once you add the annotation let me act word it okay so there is a message over here it shows at least one element has to be set as a default search element so if you add it in the header level or in the <coughs> the global level then at least one field to be enabled default search element is true so that is the error you are getting over there so i'm going to add it for bukrs and is going to be search all the search element true and this is for only one field so let me add the same for lifner also okay search so i enabled uh, the search for company code as well as the vendor so one search field will help to search both the values both the field values okay let's see how this is happening this is going to happen and i'm not going to have the fuzziness here so i have to enter the full value to get the uh, inputs from the database table so let's go here and this is my screen refresh <coughs> control f5 so i am getting a search option here right so let me go double eleven I means sorry eleven so no data found because there is no fuzziness so it's, it's expecting to enter the entire value of the field so double one double zero yes so it has double one double zero some values so let me add a supplier okay it will try to find both the values okay whether there is a value or not now i'm going to enter uh double six zero one i i know some vendor with this number let's see uh no okay uh yeah okay six zero zero one sorry six zero zero one so if i enter six zero zero one meaning the full value of the field then it will fetch it So now the search option is enabled for company code and the supplier. So it will uh, just start searching these two fields. So whenever you want to add more fields for the same search input box, you can add it through the annotations. Okay. So now we are going to add a fuzziness. So let me add it here. Search dot default. Sorry, not default. F U Z. Yeah, fuzziness thread called as thread. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so same thing for my listener as well. Activated. Sometimes it's not refreshed properly. I just make sure once you refresh, whatever entered previously entered value, it should be vanished. Then it's understanding okay, it's properly refreshed. So now I'm going to say double one enter. You try to find the values uh, from the company code as well as your supplier and whatever is matched, it will it just uh, take those informations. Okay. So now instead of 11, I don't have 11 in my supplier, but we try with 21, enter. So now it will take the values, who we'll start with 21 in the supplier level. It is not happening in the company code, either way. Okay, either it, it have, it just search both the values. Whichever is matched for that particular person, else, it take those information, those records as an output. Okay, so this is a way you can use search and you can add the uh, precedence as well. And one more thing I missed in the PPT is you can enable the search for your F4 value help. Even here also I want search option. I don't want any of these. It depends on your uh, business needs. Uh, so suppose they want only the full search option in your value help. That's also possible. Same thing you have to enable your entire CDS view, whichever is help to get the data for this value help. Just add the search help and the annotations for which field you want to include it. So let me do it quickly in my CDS, which provides the data for the value help. Search, searchable as true, and I'm going to add it here. Search dot default search element. So company code I want, and maybe Maybe for the city. Okay, just true. Act toward it. So once you have this annotation, automatically it will provide the field in your value help. So control F5. And this is for the company code value help. Just click. So now you will have a search option. Okay. Okay, I can enable it one minute. True. To it. Okay, so shift F one for pretty printer here. So do it and act word it. For a barber, it's very easy to understand what is beauty printer. Otherwise, it's it's going to be a alignment. It's a they call this beautify, right? So for that, we used Shift F one. Then go here. Control I. Okay, so you can start. So company code. I didn't use fuzziness, so I have to use the entire thing. 001, otherwise AWB. I have a city with AWB, so it works. Same thing, okay? So use a search, you'll get it. So one last thing, I suppose, if I'm going to enter the company code, I want my company name as well. Not only the company code, I want my company name as well to be as a description. So for that, I'm going to have it, and this is in my consumption view. So here I have, Books. Okay. Uh, sorry, that is a nine um, value help level. So for the company code box, I want my description also. That is object model, and then there is a property called text element. And text element is this one. The field name is bu text. So b is capital here. Text. Okay. Act 
export it. The company code here is like 005. Okay, let's see. Just click OK. So you will get the description. It's a little big. So there's a description as well as the value of the company code. So this also can be achieved using model object text element. Okay. So this is a way we can add search. This is very basic about the search, how to enable it, how to add uh, for multiple fields, and how to include a fuzziness based on the business code. Okay, just play around this and if you have any doubt, please let me know. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.